Hi everyone, we're back. Time for lesson two. Uh, today's lesson is going to be mean absolute deviation. Don't get scared. It's not scary. I promise. It just sounds scary. I know. But in all of this, I never want you to be scared. I never want you to be stressed. So just remember that you can email me any questions you have. We can set up extra Zoom meetings if you need to. My goal here is to make this as easy as possible. I don't want to stress you out. I don't want to stress out your parents. So really come to me first and I will get back to you as soon as I can and we're going to help you. So, like I said, today's lesson is mean absolute deviation. I'm going to be, can I tell you a secret? When I read the Common Core and I read that this was um, a new standard that I had to teach, I was like, hmm, I have no idea what that is. So I had to Google it. I had to look it up. And thankfully, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. So, um, be happy. There's three steps and that's all we're going to do today is learn the mean absolute deviation. So mean, that's a word that we learned last week. Mean meant the average. What's the average score? What's your average test grade? What's the average temperature? So this obviously has to do with the mean. It's called the mean absolute deviation. So what that means is the average that people are from the average. I'm sure that makes much more sense now, right? So the average that you are away from the average. So let's say the whole class took a test. And um, I got my cameraman, Spider-Man here helping me out. So if we're moving, I'll be handing the camera off to him as well. So if you see me looking at the screen, I'm sorry. I, I'm trying to look at myself and make sure I'm not cutting my head off. Um, so the average away from the average. So let's say the entire class took a test and the average on that average grade for the entire sixth grade was an 85%. Not bad. And then I get the mean absolute deviation and that's a 3%. I would be happy. That means um, the test scores pretty much are either three points higher or three points lower. So that means we're all right there. We all learned it and we all got a, at least this, almost the same grade. Now, if we took that same test and it, the mean was an 85, but the mean absolute deviation was a 15%, that means we were all over the place. Some people got 100, some people got a 60. We're just, everyone is up and down all over. So, I mean, a 70. So, it's just, it's the smaller the mean absolute deviation, the more people are alike. And the bigger the mean absolute deviation, the more all over the place everybody is. So, that's why we use this. We like to see how close people are to the actual average. So, we're going to do a few steps with this today. And I have my new students this week. The Pokemon posse up there, they really wanted to learn about mean absolute deviation. So we're going to give them some test scores. We're going to give them a data set and we're going to use those test scores to find the mean absolute deviation. Okay. All right, Spidey, I need you to take the camera for me. Thank you. So we got our Pokemon. Let's say that uh, Mr. Litton here, we're going to give Mr. Litton an 85%. So this is our data set. Then we're going to give Mr. Poplio an 82. Uh, Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil burned half his paper, so he's going to, no, not. We're going to give him a 75. Pikachu will give you a 95. Keldeo, we're going to give you an 80, and um, Furret, Mr. Furret here, we'll give you a 100. Oh, I gave him a 90. Too bad I already wrote it. Okay, so there are three steps to this, guys, just three. First, we find the mean of the data set, just like we did last week. Then we're going to subtract. Then we're going to find the mean of those answers. So mean, subtract. 
mean. Mean subtract mean. What did I say? Oh, I think I said mean subtract mean. Say it with me. Mean subtract mean. Spider-Man has given me the look like, please. Okay, so step number one, mean of the data set. Who remembers from last week how to find the mean? I know you're all raising your hands right now. You're all saying, ooh, 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 Mrs. Scarisich, first you add the numbers, then you divide by the number of numbers. So I take the numbers in my data set and I'm gonna add them together. And this time I have a calculator that actually works. Woohoo! So I'm going to go ahead and plug in 85 plus 82 plus 75 plus 95 plus 80 plus 90. And that's going to give me 507. Okay, so 507, I take that 507 and I divide it by the number of numbers in my data set. One, two, three, four, five, six. And again, I'm going to be nice and use my calculator here. And I get 84.5. We are going to go ahead and round that to an 85%. You want to round to the whole number. Trust me, it's going to make your life so much easier. All right, step two was subtract. Mean, subtract, mean. Mean, subtract, mean. So you're going to rewrite your data numbers and you're going to subtract the mean that we just found. So first thing I'm going to do, rewrite the numbers in my data set. 85, 82, 75, 95, 80, 90. Okay, my mean was an 85, so I'm going to write that behind each of those numbers. We're doing that because we're finding the distance. The distance between each numbers in the data set and the average. Now we learned a little something about distance before. What did we learn? Who remembers? That's right, distance can never be negative. Remember we talked about my neighbor who used to always drive backwards from the bus stop? Even though every day she would drive down the street backwards, did her mileage go backwards on her car? No. Distance can never be negative. So no matter how we line up these numbers, we're just going to go ahead and do high minus low. Okay, so 85 minus 85, 0. 85 minus 82, 3. 85 minus 75, 10. 95 minus 85, 10. 85 minus 80, 5. 90 minus 85, 5. Then we're going to do step 3, which is we're going to do the mean again, but this time the mean of those six answers. So we're going to add the 0, the 3, the 10, the 10, the 5, and the 5. 10, 20, 30, 33. And again, we add and then we divide. 33 divided by the 6 people in the class. 5.5. And this time we can leave the 0.5. So this is showing that their scores, eh, they're not that far apart. They can either be 5 above or about 5 below that 85%. So that's the average. Most people are within around 10 or 11 points of each other, which says that 
they pretty much learn the material about the same amount. All right. So that, that's it. That's mean absolute deviation. I think we should do it one more time just to work the kinks out. We'll give us some new uh, test numbers. So we're going to erase just the numbers, not the notes. And I will have these notes uh, typed out and on your Google Classroom. So if you forget something, you can just look at the notes that I have already posted, okay? So, um, oh, for it had to go home. We're only going to have five people in our data set this time. All right, Mr. Litton. Andrew, you want to help me with the uh, scores here? It don't make everybody go super horrible. What do you think, okay. Litton? I'll give them an 85. 85. Poplio? Let's give him a 90. Ooh, 90. Send a quilt. He's having he's slacking off. Let's give him a, a fifty-five. A fifty-five. Ooh. Yep, that's what's what happening. Pika Pika. A hundred. <gasps> Pikachu got a hundred. All right, Pika Pika. He's doing good. Yeah, and Keldio. Let's give him seventy-eight. Seventy-eight. Okay, so those that's our data set. Eighty-five, ninety. <gasps> 55, 178. So again, three steps are mean, subtract, mean. Mean, subtract, mean. mean. I hope you hear that in your sleep tonight. So mean of the data set. And again, how do we find the mean? What are our two steps? Add the two, add all the numbers and divide by the number of numbers. So here we go. 85. 90, 55, 178. First steps to add them together. Grab our trusty calculator. 85 plus 90 plus 55, 178, 408. And this time we're not going to divide by 6. We're going to divide by 5 because uh, for it went home. So we divide by 5 and we're going to get 81.6, which again, to make our life easier, we are going to round that to the nearest whole number, 82. Remember, 0 to 4, do no more. 5 to 9, put it up one time. Okay. Now, our second step is to subtract. So the first thing before I subtract is I rewrite the numbers in my data set. 85, 90, 55, 178. Then I take my average, my mean, which was 82, and I write it behind all of those numbers. And I subtract. Remember, I'm always going to do the high minus the low. No negative answers allowed. 85 minus 82, 3. 90 minus 82, 8. Ooh, 82 minus 55. I think that's 27. I'm going to check and make sure. Yeah, I was right. 27. 100 minus 82 is 18. And 82 minus 78 is 4. Almost done, guys. Mean, subtract, mean. I take those answers and I find the mean again. So what does that mean? I add them together and divide by the number of numbers. So 3, 8, 27, 18, and 4. I'm going to use my trusty calculator again just to make sure. I have no mistakes, because that would be embarrassing. Ooh, I got 60. And then 60 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ooh, I don't need the calculator for this one. My mean absolute deviation, or my MAD, is 12. And I'm going to write MAD a lot, because... Writing mean absolute deviation, that's a lot of work. So 
12 is my mad that shows that we're a little bit more all over the place that could be 12 above and 12 below so that's a whole bunch more people i mean it's it's not as great as last time last time we were around five and a half this time we're around 12 points in either direction so this test was not as great for our uh, pokemon gang over here so um okay so that's mean absolute deviation mean subtract mean mean subtract mean and only positive answers when you subtract high minus low no matter how they're located in the problem i think you shouldn't have any problems again if you have a question email me check out the notes on google classroom and we will talk tomorrow during our zoom meeting so that's it and i will see you soon have a good rest of your day